Hello, today we are going to be talking about sewing room table ideas. You are currently looking at my sewing corner. I have a vintage Singer 66 table uh, that I got from my father. I said I would never get rid of it, but it is currently not serving the purposes that I need it to serve. First and foremost, there is no storage on the table, uh, so I don't have anywhere to store all of my stuff. Secondly, there is a leaf to the side of the table, but the leaf is not strong enough to hold my serger. So that meant that I needed to get an Ikea car in order to hold my serger and to store all of my stuff, which it looks incredibly messy that way. And I'm tired of looking at all the clutter and I'm just ready to just have a table that has all the storage that I need and enough room to store my serger as well. Um, this table might not be ideal for me, but it could be ideal for you. The inside of the table has a place for a vintage foot control. It also has an area, I don't know what you call this piece, but it has the piece that comes out so that you can use the vintage foot control with your knee. Uh, I don't have no idea what that's called. It also has an area for an oil can on the opposite end and it does have a little small area where you could store some uh, fabric snips or something of that nature and the one thing that I really do like about this desk is that the little stool that you sit on to sew stores neatly underneath the desk so in a way that is kind of a storage solution and then also there's storage inside of the chair or the little stool as well where you can put your uh, sewing machine manuals and all of that sort of thing. There are some other solutions out there uh, for vintage sewing tables. If you're just set on getting a vintage sewing table, some of the more modern vintage sewing tables have it so that you can use a tabletop machine. And I would highly recommend doing that if you are specifically looking for a vintage table to use your modern machine inside of. The next best thing to do is going to be to purchase a sewing machine table. This is the Laverne and Shirley table from Arrow and it's almost two grand. Incredibly expensive, not many people can afford it. But uh, this is what you will find at any type of sewing machine shop. You'll find tables from Arrow, Kangaroo, and Horn of America, mostly in sewing shops. And then uh, if you go online, there are also some brands that are, I call them the indie sewing table brands that you can also get these solid wood custom built tables from these companies. Uh, and this Timberside one is one of them and it's really nice, but incredibly expensive. So I don't think the vast majority of people are going to be able to afford that. The next best thing is going to be to haul yourself on down to Ikea and pick up some Alex drawers and then just put a tabletop on top of that and you're all set to go. If you have a small space, you've probably already heard that you should be getting the Norden desk from Ikea. Um, yes, it is very small and compact and nice, but it is made from particle board and covered with a veneer. And on this floor model, the veneer is already peeling off. So I know that the same thing would happen if I brought that home. If this piece were say a hundred dollars, then sure I would buy it. But unfortunately it is not a hundred dollars. This piece is $349. Yes, you heard that correctly. Which once you pay taxes, is it's towards $400, which I would never pay for this, ever. Underneath there, you can see there is a wooden dowel that holds the leg in place. That is absolutely unacceptable. And I know that my grandfather would absolutely hate that because he was a carpenter. That right there is the particle board showing through. Uh, so as you can see, they didn't even bother to cover up the shelves that were inside of the drawer. If I were to go for something that's made like the Norden, then I would most likely make my own at home. The next best thing is to get the Husky desk from Home Depot. Uh, I cannot attest to what the quality is like, but it seems like a pretty good option. An economical way to get everything that you want is to make it yourself. 
this table came from Hobby Lobby, but it was cut too small. So I thought that a great idea would be to get a piece of wood pallet and actually cut it to the proper dimensions for a sewing desk and to just put table legs on the bottom of it. And then you could even add two drawers there uh, that pull out so that you could store all of your stuff. This person here actually took two kitchen cabinets and put them down and then put a tabletop on top. And I also thought that was a great idea. And of course, there's no shortage of patterns on Etsy that you can use to make your own desk. This particular one is like a copycat almost of the Ikea table that we saw before. Um, and I just think that is a wonderful option. Well, that's all the tables that I have to show you for today. I really hope that you got some ideas from this. And if you have any other ideas, please share them in the comment section below. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing-related content.